My name is Mickey Weitzer. I was a PhD student in the mechanical engineering department here at Penn, studying under Vijay Kumar, and I graduated in 2020. So I chose mechanical engineering uh, because I really love math and physics, and mechanical engineering is a, a beautiful application of math and physics. And while pursuing my PhD in the mechanical engineering department, I also uh, was able to complete the uh, Robo Masters here at Penn as well. While at Penn, uh, I was able to, to continue to play soccer, and so I played on the intramural team. Uh, we even had a team here with the mechanical engineering department, which was great. I also did uh, a lot of work for people of various ages. So we had really young kids. Uh, we had uh, even high school students come in. When the students come in, the young kids come in, and, and they get so excited about the robots and, and the work that we're doing, uh, it really excites you again. Uh, and you think, wow, yeah, this is very exciting. This is very cool. While at GRASP, I studied multi-robot systems, uh, primarily focusing on multi-robot motion planning and formation control. Uh, and so we looked at holonomic systems and non-holonomic systems, as well as uh, homogeneous teams and heterogeneous teams. One of the projects uh, we looked at was how do you control a team of fixed wing aircraft and, and move them in formation. We developed algorithms and, and implemented software for how do you take a team of these fixed wing aircraft and tell them a formation that you desire them to have, maybe a square or a circle or some, some formation. Uh, and while they're executing some mission trajectory, you can actually change the formation on the fly and the robots would autonomously reconfigure uh, their formation. I also worked on motion planning for uh, non-holonomic systems. Uh, so essentially, if you had a, a team of of autonomous cars or, or fixed wing robots, uh, how do you take them from their starting locations to their goal locations and, and plan trajectories for them uh, in such a way that you guarantee collision avoidance uh, and, and that all robots will arrive safely at their, their goal locations. Um, and I should note that this was uh, part of the beauty of GRASP is that you get to work with other amazing people and, and amazing scholars. I, I was able to even work with people in my lab and write papers with them, but also work with other labs here. But Penn is known around the world for being a, an amazing institution for robotics and you meet incredible people here and, and really have an opportunity to grow and to flourish. I had a, a great experience as a PhD student here. They, they really take care of us in many ways and I studied under Vijay Kumar and he provided me opportunities that I could uh, only dream of. He also gave me a lot of freedom to explore the different problems that I was interested in and different topics I was interested in. And in addition to that, the, the students that I worked with were wonderful, uh, both as uh, academics, but, but also personally. You form great relationships with them and you get to write papers and spend time uh, together both inside and outside the lab. So after GRASP, I looked at academic jobs and, and industry jobs. Being in academia for a long time, I was able to, to get that perspective of things. Uh, but this, this door opened to, to go into industry. Now I'm, I'm at NASA uh, at the Johnson Space Center down in Houston, Texas. Um, and I'm currently working on the new Gateway Station. Uh, so Gateway, similar to ISS that orbits the Earth, uh, we're actually putting, it, putting up a space station around the moon. Uh, and so that, that's what Gateway is, and I'm working on the autonomy aspect of Gateway. I dream of someday coming back to academia and, and being a professor, but I'll be able to, to bring the experiences I've had in industry to the classroom and to the students to be able to share that with them. Uh, so I'm really glad that I, I will be able to have both experiences. Mm -hmm.